Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I, I just finished recording probably the most brilliant blog post, frustrating but brilliant blog post I've ever done. And I can say that because it disappeared, so nobody can argue with me um, about its content. But uh, in the middle of all of this, I, I managed to go ahead and find a fix for what's been happening with my computer freezing uh, and going blank towards the end of the recording. So we'll see if I was successful or not in, um, in actually repairing what was wrong with it based upon information that was online. I, I say it was a, a, a brilliant blog post, mostly because of the content, not because of me. Uh, although, although, um, It helped vent a lot of frustration, and and I'll explain. It's not something that I anticipated talking about, but but since I can't really get rid of it, I can't shed it. Um, I'm going to have to talk about it. That's the only way I'll be able to go ahead and, and process it. Uh, I had to go ahead and visit. Uh, I had to I had to go someplace the other day. I'm trying really hard not to. Uh, be too specific because I don't want to offend um, the person involved in this particular instance. However, um, if I do, I apologize ahead of time. But I'm equally as frustrated with myself as I am with that person because I missed the teachable moment, and I'll explain what that's all about in a minute. But I, but I had to I had to visit a place in order to pick up a package the other day. And I mean, yesterday. And uh, one of the people there is someone I've known for quite some time. And someone I believe genuinely cares about my recovery, by the way. Um, and it, it almost seemed as if that person was relieved to see me so that he could share. Um, a story about a close relative of his who suffered uh, from graft versus host disease for almost a decade. Um, it was difficult, it was ugly, it was uh, debilitating, and ultimately took his life. And, and this individual couldn't wait to tell me all about it, and in, in fact, mentioned that he was waiting until I started to recover to tell me about it because he didn't want to burden me with it while I was still um, in the process of recovery. Well, one of the things that was lost on this person was the fact that I'm always going to be in the process of recovery. I'm always going to be in treatment. It's not. This is not something that's going to go away. And growth, graft versus host disease is a very, very real, real um, corollary to this disease. It's something that all of us who have had a transplant are aware of, um, and aware of on a very deep, very personal level. If you, you know, I've talked about it before, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll try to explain. Um, I'll try and explain it better. Graft versus host disease is what occurs when the stem cells that you have recently received from your donor and the this, this cells within your own body go to war with each other. Um, the stem cells in your body, the cells in your body, see the graft stem cells as an intruder and attempt to kill them and or the stem cells that are part of the uh, the donor stem cells that you're being infused with decide that um, your stem cells have no business your antibodies have no business being there anymore and they and they just start to battle it out and it can be horrible it can affect any different part of your body it can affect your organs it can affect your eyesight um, it can cause lesions, it can cause sores, it can cause death. Um, it's not a very pleasant thing to think about, 
but all of us who have had a transplant, um, especially a donor transplant, are very much aware of it. There are seminars on GVH that are given at every major hospital that performs that kind of a procedure. Um, I'm sure that you can see the same seminars uh, on graft-versus-host disease in, in New York uh, at Dana-Farber or Sloan Kettering, uh, as you can at Cedars-Sinai here in Los Angeles or at MD Anderson in Dallas. Um, it's a very, very real problem. I know that the person who told me that they couldn't wait to tell me about this until I started to get better has no understanding of the fact that I'm going to be dealing with the threat of graft-versus-host disease for the rest of my life. Um, so far, I've been really lucky. So far, it's very manageable. Um, I have a 12-point match, which we've talked about before, which makes it a lot more likely that um, any problems I have with GVH are going to be manageable. Uh, but it's still real. It's still a real problem. It's still a real threat. Uh, I was so taken aback when that happened. When, 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 uh, and the person went ahead and, and actually um, told me that he shared this information with a very dear friend of mine uh, who, who frequents this business. And... Uh, I'm sorry that I missed an opportunity to turn around and say, whoa, slow down. You know, um, graft versus host disease is something really horrific that all of us who have had a transplant must deal with. I feel terrible for um, this family member that had to suffer with it for so long. I feel awful um, that ultimately it took his life. But quite frankly, it's not something I'm unaware of. And I don't need to hear about it. You want to tell me that I look terrific? I'll be happy to accept that very humbly and graciously. You want to tell me that um, you're glad that I'm recovering? I'll say thank you and shake your hand or fist bump, actually. Um, I understand what that's all about. And, and those of you who have seen me scratch or, or, or itch different, part of that is, you know, the, 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 a rash that you wind up with, a light rash that you wind up with when your GVH is man manageable. It's not something that goes away. And I miss the teachable moment. I miss the opportunity to educate this person um, to the reality, on the reality of the fact that, that this is this that this is not something that a transplant patient is um, likely to deal with. One of the things that came up in, 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 uh, was the fact that that uh, he he said that he knew someone who had exactly what I had um, or what I have, and and that's. Let me explain how the unlikely that is. I mean, it's possible, I'm sure, but it's certainly possible within my community inside the City of Hope um, that that you can find somebody who's got what I have because they treat that disease there. But the disease is so rare. We're talking about 18,000 people, maybe 18,000 people out of 326 million. Do the math, figure out what the percentage is. There are lots of zeros there. I think the last time I did it, there were four or five zeros after the decimal point. Um, it's almost immeasurable. So the statistical probability that you know someone else outside of that community, outside the medical community, outside the hospital community, um, is really unlikely. It's not, it's, so you may know somebody who has one of the more common myeloids, like, you know, um, multiple myeloma or myelodysplastic uh, anemia or, or a number of other things, but, but not necessarily primary myelofibrosis. Um, in any case, I'm taking the teachable moment now because I hope that if you, if you see this and you hear it and it resonates for you, you're going to realize that any person that has any illness, any disease that has some other kind of ramifications that come with, 
with that disease, some side effects, some symptoms that are part of the treatment and recovery um, of those diseases, especially um, threats that are not going to um, threats that are not going to uh, hope you don't get robocalls. Here we go again. So we, we'll try this. We'll try this a second time. The fix didn't work, evidently, but I managed to get this done for now. Um, in any case, what I'm hoping is that you'll be more sensitive to the fact that they are dealing um, with whatever news you're trying to give them. If it, it certainly, if it's about graft versus host, they'd be foolish not to know everything that they possibly could about um, GVH. So. Uh, Try to be more sensitive to that. Try and recognize that part of the work of recovery is, is diligently striving to have a positive attitude all the time. And it's hard to have a positive attitude when people are trying to tell you about who died and how they died, especially if they died badly. Um, and try to be as upbeat and positive as you can because whoever it is that you're talking to who's suffering with this disease is trying desperately to do the same thing. And, and attitude makes a difference. Um, attitude makes a difference in treatment. Attitude makes a difference in recovery. So uh, that's what I got for you today. Uh, thank you for listening. I really feel better. Uh, having said that, having an opportunity to get that off my chest, I'm sorry. Um, if you see this and you're the one I was talking about, but take it as a teachable moment. Uh, recognize that those of us who are suffering with a disease and trying to get better as quickly as we can and as completely as we can um, don't need to be confronted with the ne negative aspects of, of what we face if things go bad. Um, we know. Trust me. We know. Stay well. Take care. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Love you.